Hey everybody, how we doing? All right, today I've got a new topic. Having trouble with my tractor, and I'm asking you guys for a little bit of help or advice. Okay, here's the story. All right, this is a 1987 Case International 235 with 21 horsepower. Trouble I'm having is uh, ignition. When I turn it over to start, nothing happens. I can jump it off with a screwdriver, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. Um, I found a flasher in there because it's got you know the flasher lights on the back. I found that and it was burned off. So I bought a new one, and I'll show you that as well. So uh, anyway, let's get to the mechanical part of how, we, how I have to start it. All right, I'm not real sure if you can see this or not, but it has 596.9 hours on it. And this thing is 35 years old. Okay, I have, um, I replaced the ignition switch. So we know that. Here we have the flasher that burned out. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it broke off, burned out, whatever. And here's the replacement that I replaced. And I'm still having an issue. All right. There's no uh, issue with uh, starting it up. I mean, all, basically all I got to do is just get in here with the screwdriver and... It will start. I don't know if you can hear me over this or not, but then I gotta turn this mission switch off. The mission is off, it runs out of fuel because the fuel pump is not working. But it's right side, no other issue, so I cannot start it off of the ignition switch. Let me clear this. Okay, I have to use the fuel shutoff in order to shut it down. <clears throat> but I can't figure out why I have to jump it off and the ignition switch don't work. New ignition switch, new flasher, I can't figure it out. So if some of you fellas out there could give me some advice or suggestions or tell me what I need to do in order to fix this, I sure would appreciate it. Because technically, I'm getting tired of fooling with it. I mean, other than that, there's nothing wrong with the tractor at all. Uh, just so that you know, okay, this uh, tractor was bought 1987 by my brother. All right, he passed away, and I acquired the tractor after he passed away a couple of years ago, or a year and a half ago. And, uh, I ended up having to figure this out for myself how to start it because you know, naturally he didn't tell me. But anyway, if you guys have any advice, suggestions, or if you know what the problem is, let me know. Like I said, there's a new ignition switch, a new flasher, and everything. And as far as the flasher goes, it's got these lights on the back on each side. Okay, they're supposed to flash, but when I looked underneath, the wires have been either cut or broken, and I'm not sure which. But either way, they're not connected, so that should not be the issue. So if you guys got any suggestions, I sure would appreciate it. Thanks for your help. All right, so now a quick rundown and a recap. All right, ignition switch has an issue. I'm not sure because it's a new one. Flasher I replaced. Um, not sure it did any good because really technically it's not connected to anything. It's just kind of there. But for those who would like to give me some advice, I will advise that the one of the wires going to the flasher stays continuously hot. All right, I found that out the hard way. Um, 
I know it's not the solenoid because if the solenoid was bad, I wouldn't be able to jump it with a screwdriver. And it would give me some sort of a... Uh, click or something to tell me that it's the solenoid. So it's not that. And I cannot figure out what the heck the problem is. So I sure would appreciate anybody's help out there and uh, once I figure the problem out I will let you guys know. I appreciate your help and your advice and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Remember subscribe and like. I'd appreciate it. Helps my channel. Have a great day. Thanks.